Hey guys, welcome back. Let's continue working on our bathroom here. What I'm gonna do now is downloading this model I found on 3D Sky. Let's merge this file, the max file, and make sure it's in our working layer. I actually like this bathtub, like this. Let's just make sure it's on the top here. Let's go back, check our reference, and let's block out some stuff. So we do have a warming unit. Let's just real quick do it. Gonna make an instance of this guy here. Center this on the Z axis, then select these two guys and just scale on the Z axis a little like so. And then we need to add a way to attach it to the wall so we can take this again. Yeah, look at that, we're lucky here. There are so many free 3D models. To download assets from Turbo Squid, you need to make an account. Just do that, then you can have like your download the uh, library thingy. Once you add it to the cart, then select the extension you want, unzip it. Let's make a new folder here, call it with the same name. Stay slightly organized, watch it this guy. Then, you guessed it, we click File, Import, Merge, and select our guy. I'm gonna click Save, and I will go back to my reference. Do we need to take a better look at this guy here? So I really like how the bathroom looks like this. We have these wall covers that are similar to what we already have been doing. And then we have a very big mirror. We have a nice spotlight. So assuming this height here is like 80 centimeters, let's say. And this is 40. Here we have a bathtub. So let's go. Let's see what can we do here. Let's make it similar to our kitchen here. If you don't know, in 3ds Max, when you press Alt A or click on Align, then click on the object you want to align to then the axis you want to align to, let's say X, press the target object, whether minimum or maximum, on your selected vertices, and it will take the last vertex to the last vertex from here, or take the average on our selected uh, vertices, then place it like so. This is one of my top favorites in 3ds max of all time this align tool is i just love it now we need to do this or something similar so we can take one of these faces let's just divide this connect it so one two three take this guy Let's make it as a mesh, different different object for now. And let's give it a better color, shall we? So let's say the thickness of this part here is about 1.5. 
then we have this part so we could easily just do this then this go to left view then select this part click chamfer open chamfer then increase it like so let's put 0.3 Select the tab here, also move them on the Z, and let's make some space, make it look slightly more realistic. Let's do the same. does not have to be 45 just let's make it look cool and we should be good awesome now what I would like to do is to also do something like this so we have this part that is exactly similar to the width of this part then we have two similar that are slightly larger where we have our papers and this here so that's pretty cool for this part here what we need to do is to make it in the exact middle if you don't know in 3ds max when you right click on the snaps toggle it will open grid and snap settings and I use vertex and midpoint so midpoint will help you for example snapping a vertex to a midpoint of an edge right so it's also one of my favorite things in 3ds max so I'm gonna click inset and then I'm gonna extrude inwards like so so if I isolate my selection, we have a shape that looks like this. And a shape like this can stay with a quality set to 64 or even much, much less because we don't see it. Let's delete the faces we don't want. I will borrow one of these separators here make a copy, add it to my working layer, collapse, select all of this. I'm gonna first make both of these objects unique, then delete one of these, then select this guy, detach it. Let's select these guys. Assign an edit poly modifier. Move it all the way to here. I would also make a duplicate of this guy. Let's go. So here we have like 20 centimeters or something. Select the wall and let's extrude it inwards. So I'm gonna select this part only, detach it. That's awesome. I would get one of these guys, make a copy, center it above this guy here.
let's just put it to our working layer. Press Ctrl Save. And I will see you guys in the next lesson.